Hello everyone. Uh, this video is about how can we create a combined scatter and box plot in Python. Um, but this is the data which I have in a given Excel file over here. I have uh, this table with the range of scenarios and their corresponding values for four different years. Uh, 2017 is the historic one. And these three are the future projections of electrification rate in different scenarios for a specific country or region. And uh, in the previous video, I have shown how we can create a combined box and scatter plot in Excel. And now in, in this video, I'm going to show how it can be done using Matplotlib library in Python. And I'm also going to create, uh, share the link to the my github repository in the description below so at first let's import all the required packages import pandas spd and import matplotlib.pyplot spld next step is to read the excel file which is called electrification.xl sx how does let's see how the file looks like now the file looks like this i need scenario as an index column so this index call equal to scenario okay now it looks like this and the scenarios starting from over here uh, these are the calculations which i had done in the Excel file, so I don't need them. I just need uh, these 15 rows over here. So, df equal to um, df log historical. And the first row is called historical. As you can see, this is the first row, and this is the row which I need. So, I'm just going to copy its name. So, and this is the data frame which is uh, over here and which I need to prepare my box plot for this category for the combined one. So, at first, I'm going to write uh, x equal to okay. So, first, I want the x value for the scatter plot, and that would be the range of the from 1 to length of df the columns plus 1 uh, because uh, df the columns the columns are this one and I'm not going to use this column names instead I'm going to use uh, the numbers so there are four columns so x is the range from 1 to 5 which implies 1 2 3 and 4 now I'm going to introduce subplots over here. Okay, x equal to here with dot subplots, and now I want to plot scatter plot at first. So I want to plot a scatter plot of all these rows, and that's why I want to introduce uh, or do this using a for loop for i in what do I need? Range df that set the number of rows is zero. I can see it over here. So the shape of the data frame it has 15 rows and four columns. So I need to loop the rows. That's why this is for looping through rows. Yeah, that and I'm going to plot the scatter plot now. Is the x value, and for the y value, I need to plot values in each row. That's why df dot i log i. Let's see how it looks like. So it looks like this. So in the x, uh, we have the range from one to five, which is one, two, three, and four, as you can see over here. And these are the values uh, for y. Now I want to superimpose 
box plot on top of it so i'm just going to write df dot box plot and let's see how it looks like wow now we have this box plot over here and we also have the dots or the scatter plots superimposed on top of each other and uh, the reason uh, we use different x value for the scatter plot is to avoid the conflict between the scatter plot and the box plot but now we can also add we have such saved um, let's say uh, let's tick levels uh, df dot college okay it is already over here i'm going to write let's say uh, and give font size equal to 15 now i'm just going to copy paste for white tick levels uh, these are first in percentage at first i'm going to set the y limit from 0 to 100 let's see how it looks like so now we have the values of our from 0 to 100 and now i want to give the percentage symbol over here so x is set y tick levels and for that i'm going to write zero percentage in the list comma 20 percentage comma 40 percentage comma 60 percentage 80 percentage and finally 100 percentage in this list right let's see how it looks like okay well now we have the percentage symbols as well over here uh, okay and let's add a title as well now ax set underscore title is electricity share in final energy consumption using percentage terms uh, let's also add the uh, x level which is the here and the y level which is the electrification rate in percentage i'm also going to add the percent of font size i'm going to make it a bit larger so over here font size font size split into all of them i'm going to make the figure a little bit larger equal to 8,6 so now it looks uh, very nice I think the figure plot is larger we have the X level the Y level uh, the tick levels the X tick levels Y tick levels uh, in terms of percentage uh, we have the historical value for 2017 and we have the range for the future projections for 2030 2040 2050 uh, the green line in the box plot represents the second quartile or the median and the line below and on top of it represent the first and third quartile respectively and these uh, whiskers below and the top represent the minimum and the maximum values and uh, these dots or scatter plots represent the values for each scenario or for each row yes okay that's it uh, for now guys thank you for watching and see you all in the next video